outside, Pilate strikes back, dead heat. St. Lee's got the photo in the Cox Plate. Ethereal's coming hard, the Caulfield Cup winners grab the lead, and Ethereal does the double. Mind and power has gapped them in the Caulfield Cup. What a win, he's won it by seven lengths. But don't stitch, he lunges and wins! A magnificent guineas! We've seen one of the very great guineas. Much more than just a horse race, the Melbourne Cup is ingrained in the Australian psyche as the most recognisable event on our great sporting calendar. It's arguably the only event that people with little to no interest in sport in general will take notice of. It transcends sport. It's more a cultural phenomenon and one that has lasted more than 150 years. There was really only one question leading into the 1997 Melbourne Cup. Would Might and Power be able to run a strong two miles? He'd smashed most of his rivals in the Caulfield Cup a fortnight earlier, setting a record seven length margin in what was a bold front running display. But it's a different beast. The Flemington 3200 metres leading all of the way in the Melbourne Cup is an extremely rare occurrence. Jimmy Cassidy though made his intentions very clear from the start. Might and Power just led, Sunny Lane taking her on in the early stages. Marble Hall's just behind them as third, followed by Crying Game outside Court of Honour and Linesman Deeper still. Up there too is Viali from Magnet Bay. Markham and Grandmaster over on the inside. Sapio going forward wide right on the course around always aloof Arabian story. Bonsai Pipeline next on the outside, followed by Elfring Glone to pull in the early stages. Harbour Dews outside it and Count Chivas the rail. Wonder Remus followed by Skybo Scrupulous and Ebony Grave is at the back of the field as might and power the Caulfield Cup winner pulling against Jim Cassidy took the lead with a circuit to run by two lengths to linesman outside Marble Halls is also fighting the rider crying game is next on the outside followed by Court of Honour getting a lovely travel in behind Marble Halls followed then by Yobro on the fence and then Sunny Lane Viali Sapio the outside is travelling deep Markham is travelling sweetly on the rails one magnet may always aloof Grandmaster Bonsai Pipeline is three deep past the 2000 wonder couch of us Arabians story. Next is Doremus Harbadews following Arabian story on the outside of Doremus and then came Ebony Grove one and a half Elfa who's drifted right back through the field now from Sky Bow and Scrupulous is last of all past the 1800 and Might and Power trying to do it all the way as he did in the Caulfield Cup leads three quarters to Crying Game second, two lengths to Marble Halls, a head away fourth on the outside as Linesman, quarter of honour Yobro two lengths further back as Markham and Viali, Bonsai Pipeline as wide so as Sapio around Magnet Bay Grandmaster over on the inside there as they head past the 1400 Magnet Bay, one further back as always aloof and he's followed by Arabian Story Count Chivas and next to Remus Harbour Dews, the outside of him is three deep Two links to Ebony Grove, who's got up inside Alpha, and then Sky Bow and Scrupulous back last of all. Past the 1,200 metres now. Might and power the leader, three quarters in front of Crying Game. Hard ridden to be up there, second on his outside. Two links further back in the field. Linesman on the outside of Marble Halls. A length and a half to Court of Honour and Yobro. Two links further back as Markham on the inside of Bonsai Pipeline and Viali the centre. One further back as Magnet Bay, Sapio around it. Grandmaster sneaking up on the rail from always aloof Arabian story. Count Chivers and Doremus a good way back, Bonsai Pipeline has dropped out of it, followed by Harbour Dews when they came near to the turn, Ebony Grove's got some work to do and Alpha's one of the last when they swept to the turn, where Linesman raced up and joined Might and Power, the brothers Cassidy turn around the bend together Linesman under the whip and Might and Power they lead from Yobro, third entering the straight Grandmasters coming home along the inside from Sapio, here comes Doremus for the run, Arabian Story is next and then Viali, Might and Power shook off Linesman though, at the 300 he raced out by two lengths with Doremus, Challenging. Ebony Groves getting a rails run, followed by Grandmaster and Markham. Might and Power the leader inside the 200. Two lengths in front of Linesman and then Doremus on the outside. Might and Power the leader. Doremus trying hardest, coming at him. Might and Power and Doremus. Doremus getting the Might and Power. They hit the line photo. Oh, nothing between them. Doremus or Might and Power in a close go. Immediately, Greg Hall, jockey of Doremus, saluted in victory, almost hoping it would convince the judge without needing a second look. But when the photo flashed up, it was might and power who'd held on in what was as thrilling a Melbourne Cup in recent memory. The Melbourne Cup of 2002 was the stage for one of the most tear-jerking, uplifting and heart-wrenching sporting tales of any era. 
Damien Oliver had lost his brother Jason in a track work fall only days before he was due to ride Irish Raider Media Puzzle in the cup. The build up to the race changed dramatically. The focus on Oliver was immense. Would he ride? No one would blame him if he didn't. Damien knew his brother would want him to. And so he took Media Puzzle to the barriers and the rest had to be seen to be believed. Bunch media puzzles ahead of him. Settling down now, racing up to the 2800 metre mark. Delia Poor on the inside and Victory Smile, the leaders. Wider out, San Mason going on. Requiem just inside him and there followed then by Hatheranna on the improve on the outside. Media puzzles in behind the speed, so closely followed by Cyclades. Pugins going up wide out to around County Tyrone and there followed then by Vinnie Rowe. Helene Vitella to the outside and then Fantastic. Next is Beekeeper, distinctly secret. Mr. Pruden followed then by Thorn Classic. Grey Song. Uh, back behind him is Miss Willis, a length and a half. Jardings look out and then Hale, who's got well back. Prize Gem is on his inside and then Rain Gage and Freemason three lengths away. Out of the straight at the 2200. And San Mason made play in the cup out to the riverside. Leads by a length and a half. Hatherana is second. Dahlia Poor is third. Pugin next travelling three deep on the outside of Requiem. Two lengths Helene Vitality over on the outside from County Tyrone Cyclades and then Victory Smile. A length and a half to Vinnie Rowe going up wide out and then Media Puzzle Pentastic. One and a half to Beekeeper Distinctly Secret. Mr. Prudent the inside. Another two lengths further back is Grey Song. Miss Melissa's with it and then Thong Classic the outside. Two links, Jardines look out around Hale and Prize Gem. Second last rain gauge and Freemason. They're halfway. 1,600 metres to go. San Mason is the leader narrowly. Hatherana is pouring the pressure on. It's a fast run Melbourne Cup. Fusion is third. Dahlia Poor a link and a half away. And then Helene Vitality, Cyclades. Vinnie Rose on the move round the outside as they go by the 1,400. Requiem immediately on his inside. Behind these is County Tyrone. And they're followed by Media Puzzle outside. Victory Smile. A link further back is Beekeeper. And he's followed by Pentastic as they put the 1,200 astern. Then came distinctly secret Mr. A Prudent is on the inside and then Thong Classic there followed by Miss Millis. Well back is Grey Song, Jardines, Look Out, Hale, Prize Gem, Rain Gage and Freemason at the 900 metres and Hatherana is dashed to the front now for Godolphin by three. In second placing is San Mason and then Pugin. Vinnie Rose got up to fourth. Followed by Delia Poor as they come to the home turn. And next is County Tyrone. Media puzzles working into it with a run round the outside. And Beekeeper's coming. Distinctly secret off the track is making ground. And they're followed by Mr. Prudent as they swing the corner. And then Delia Poor. They come into the straight now. And Media Puzzle's gone up with Vinnie Rowe. And they share the lead around the home turn ahead of Hatherana who's gone. Beekeeper runs on. So does Pentastic and Distinctly Secret. Passing the 350 metre mark. Damien Oliver sends Media Puzzle to the lead ahead of Vinnie Rowe who can't find. And back behind them is Beekeeper. Distinctly Secret. Fantastic. But Damien Oliver riding with the spirit of Jason. Out by three on Media Puzzle. I think he's got the cup one. Beekeeper Mr. Prudent are running on from Vinnie Rowe. But it's Media Puzzle clear. And Media Puzzle. Damien and Dermot have done it. Oliver raised his arms in triumph as he crossed the line, looking to the sky. It was one of the most emotional moments in Australian sporting history. Canny Irishman Dermot Weld, who was the first overseas trainer to win the Cup in 1993 with Vintage Crop, had his second, with a horse whose best win up until that point was his last start victory in the Geelong Cup. But it was all about Oliver. It was his day and his moment and one we will never forget. New Zealand Bloodstock's ready to run sale continues.